Hello. How you guys doing? I hope you're doing okay. Um, hope you see check see what check my mic here. See what's doing. Yeah, I think my mic's doing pretty good. See my see what's picking up. Hello, hello. Yeah, okay, it's doing good. Yeah. Um, hope you guys are doing a good evening, good day, good afternoon. Making another video. And this time is consistently. Um, this topic is about a young man. His name is Austin Holler. Uh, this young young man went down to Brazil. He's been all over YouTube and he makes videos out. out he goes across the country. And there's a couple of videos. I'm going to show a couple snippets of it. And uh, well, first, and I'm going to give you my take of it. One, they're kind of long, so I'm going to kind of cut it up into pieces because they like over an hour. Um, I'm do, do like. If you're visiting First Choice Chiropractic for the first time after a car accident, here's what to expect. When you come in, you'll need to complete a form. And I'm, and I'm going to bring a different aspect of it than the other guys do. When, when they, these are some well-known YouTubers, and I'm going to kind of make my interpretation about traveling. And I agree with traveling, but there's certain things that the, anybody, men, Women should understand. No greed. Global truth. When, when, when you're traveling. And, um, it, but uh, I'm going to let him hold on. Shalom, shalom. What's up, what's up? It's your brother, New Breed. Back to you with another exclusive broadcast. What's up with y'all, man? Terrific Tarsus in here, limited tag. Nelly, I see you in the building. What's up, Gavin? King Rex. Y'all. These passport bros out here taking L's, man. There's some of you travelers out there that's not moving in wisdom at all. Yeah, see, everybody who's a traveler doesn't move in wisdom. You know, the book of Ecclesiastics uh, 34 and 9 tells us a man that have traveled knoweth many things. He, he that have much experience would declare wisdom. Yeah, and it's very true, man. When you are travel, when you making moves, when you experiencing many things and being able to see the world is supposed to equivalent to sound or wisdom, knowledge. You know the fundamentals. Nah, not with these brothers, man. Austin Holman, you finna hold this L. Now, some of y'all can remember some time ago I was speaking in regards of. Uh, the traveling bros, the passport bros, and I was telling you what my looming concerns were when they were talking about going to various countries and soiling their royal oats because the women over here ain't trying to get right. Well, it appears that the leader of the passport bros pretty much had to vacate the premises of Brazil because a local young lady sounded the alarm about his motives and pretty much he had to leave because he pretty much put a target on his own back and uh, <laughs> it's like I knew this was going to come uh, I know that a lot of people are going to get exposed I was telling y'all with the Andrew Tate situation that a lot of a lot more of these brothers who are going overseas for pretty much sex tourism, they're going to get exposed. Some of these brothers going to get lined up. Some of these brothers going to get hit up. And they're going to be falling, right? They're going to be getting judged out here real soon. He's like the, the, the so-called leader. He's not the only one. They're pretty much snitching on themselves. It's like the level of stupidity with these, these young men, these, these men. The level of stupidity for me is um, it's astonishing, y'all. How many of y'all heard Andrew Tate before we get into
into this topic, right? How many of y'all heard Andrew Tate's last omission via leaked phone conversation he had with a young lady basically talking about how he raped her and how he doesn't understand why he likes doing this to women. He doesn't understand why the more they say no, the more he enjoys it. You know, how many of y'all heard that? Y'all can find it on World Star Hip Hop. It's so graphic when he said, I, there's no way I can play it on this platform. There's no way I can play it. Yeah, he's on the phone. Listen, I know what I did to you was wrong, but you Come on, you you liked it, right? You liked it. Straight weirdo. Andrew Tate is a weirdo. Beta male. And so is the rest of these these guys. Uh, they're all beta males. They all lames. Uh, they all they all beyond goofy. The the level of goofyism. I don't even know. I just made that a word. The level of goofyism. When it comes to what these guys are doing, the, the, the beta male simps. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. And they appear to be these distinguished gentlemen. They wear these suits. They parade themselves around as men. But they can't get women in their own damn country. Hmm. You so sexually frustrated that you got to go overseas and attempt to take advantage of other women. Notice I said the word attempt, because Austin, Austin, what was you thinking, Austin? Did you think you can go overseas, right, and all of a sudden you was going to have game, sir? Is that is that how you believe this thing works? Do you believe you can go overseas and all of a sudden you got the ability to become a damn gorilla pimp out here? <laughs> I don't care how many Pimp C records you listening to Pimpin' ain't dead Just move to the website I don't care how Where you travel You can travel near, far, to, fro Like I said in my previous video If you are goofy If you are lame If you don't understand women If you don't have A moral compass You know Something that sets you aside from all the other guys out here, then you're not going to be able to get women. Corey Dennis says, you're a hater, sir. He says, you're a hater, sir. Corey. Let's get you on up out of here. Yeah, worship your God. Worship your God, Austin, who just had to run himself up out of Brazil. Yes, worship him. I don't have to travel to various distant lands for women. You know why? Because I'm a man. That's why. I'm not a little boy. You know what the problem is? A lot, the problem is a lot of these guys, y'all don't have decorum about yourself. You're not, you don't really respect yourself. You're disingenuous. That's the problem. You, you don't have you don't have a soul. That's the issue. You're deplorable. You're a lover of flesh more than the, of the lover of God. You're godless. How are you going to attract women? How are you going to be a man over women? And you don't even have God in your damn life. You don't even have the Creator in your life. And you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be getting all the women. Don't you know women are attracted to God energy? masculine energy because God is a man that's masculine energy these guys don't have that they gotta travel overseas as if these women are dumb they really believe these women are stupid but I'm gonna prove you otherwise right these women ain't dumb overseas look look at look, listen to this y'all listen to how this boy gets exposed let's listen to it
that again, ladies and gentlemen. No worries. No worries. There was no sound in the video. No worries whatsoever. We're going to get to it. Uh, I don't know why I didn't have sound, but let's go. We back. Tell me if y'all can hear throwing one in the chat. I have no idea why I did that, but let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, what's the sound back in the video? Yes, we have ones. All praises to the most high. Yes, we have ones. Now let's get into this. There's some things that we got to uncover. You know, the forces are working against what we got going, right? Now let's get into it. Let's start from the top here. This is how your boy got exposed. Let's go. You know what? Matter of fact, let me take off my Stranger Things music. Let me take that off for a second. Let's make sure y'all don't have any issues, right? Let's take that off, right? Let's hear this nice and clearly. What's being said in this video, and I'm a child, man, because there's a lot to unpack right here. And some of you, you, you young bucks, some of you traveling brothers, and y'all know I, I applaud traveling. I promote traveling. But some of y'all gonna learn something today, right? About the ins and outs and how to move, right? Let's get it. And from the comments left on his post, there are a lot of guys believing every word he says. So he's out there making posts all on social media. Um, pretty much all the guys watching this man is believing everything that he's saying. And you got a local woman taking the social media, putting this man on. Blast Street on Front Street, you know. So all you guys within the states following this man like this, your God, you know. The women over there, they really ain't feeling them, just like the women over here ain't feeling, them, right? So what's going on over there is the women. This particular woman here, this local woman, she's blowing the trumpet. She's sounding the alarm, and she's like, "Listen, don't believe everything that you're hearing coming from this guy, right?" Anyway, let's get it. She said, it gotta be possible to punish this guy. This dude over here is sexually harassing everything. He only talking to women who don't speak English. The man is gawking at every damn thing. The man is over there with his nostrils wide open. The man is over there trying to spit some game like he big pimping over there, right? My question is, man, why don't you come back to the States? Look, some of these 304s need pimps too. Player, player. <laughs> <laughs> Why you going all the way overseas if you a gorilla pimp? So over here, you went shh over here. But you gonna go over there and all of a sudden you think you king pimp gorilla pimp? And you think these ladies is just gonna fall for your charades? Don't you know women have intuition on when they dealing with a cornball, a lame, and a goofy when That's they in true. front of one? That's true. That's true. Now all of a sudden you're supposed to have a damn stable over there. That's true. Come on, player, player. You was lame over here and you're going to be lame wherever you go. That's what all you passport bros need to know. No. If you're not a man, if you don't have any dignity, because that's what you're lacking. I'm telling you right now what you're lacking is what your daddy ain't telling you. You don't have dignity. Somebody share the definition of the word dignity in here. Let me get the definition of the word dignity in the chat. That's what it is. They ain't, that's what they lack. Don't matter where you go, if you're not a man, you are not going to attract women. It seems like y'all doing this all for sex tourism. You're looking for desperate women. It's a damn shame. That's real weak of you. Let's continue. She said, can somebody please do something about this? She said, is it possible that somebody come out here and whoop this dude ass? He need his ass whooped. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, them people in Brazil was ready to whoop your behind, bro. They was ready to line you up. 
Yeah. And Slim got him out of there. Yeah. He got him out of there, yo. They was ready to look, listen. They There's was a ready couple to top, stomp top, your top dumb ass out like after this one. They was really ready to stomp you out. They was ready to put booster behinds out there. <laughs> Listen, thank you for that definition. Dignity. Passport bros, there's the word of the day. The state of quality of being worthy of respect. How the hell are you going to be worthy of respect if you don't give no damn respect? How are you going to get respect if you're running around like a damn dog in heat? How are you going to get respect if you don't go to other countries and respect the land in which you live? If you don't respect the local women That's and true. the local men, That's if true. you don't have no respect for the men of their country, how do you expect to receive respect back if you think you're going to move to somebody else's country and pretty much uh, use their women and, and, and use them, disregard them, and That's do true. God knows what with them, and you don't even respect anybody over there? That's true. That's true. You don't have dignity. You don't have the qualities worthy of getting respect. That's why you're not getting women. Women only gravitate towards people that they respect. That's true. All of the nonsense, all of the the, the materialistic stuff, even looks to a degree. If a woman don't respect you, nine times out of ten, she ain't going to lay with you unless it's about a bag. Mm. Unless it's about a bag. Unless it's about something material. Whoa. She ain't gonna lay with you if she don't respect you. That's true. And that can supersede how you look. If you're just a respectable man, then you're gonna have a respectable outcome. That's true. Y'all going over there not even playing the game, right? Y'all talk too damn much. Y'all put all y'all business online. You're telling everybody what you got going on. And now look what's going on. Y'all putting targets on your back. Same way as your godfather Andrew Tate. Same thing with him. Telling on yourselves. Y'all know how to be quiet, man. This is crazy. Let's get it. I jumped out before I was another exposed by him. He went live today and has an American giving him money saying that we feminists are a foot in the bag. Saying the feminists are a foot in the bag. Pretty much he's saying, listen, what's money going to do? He's pretty much asking for donations and contributions from other people online. Because he's saying feminists got a foot in the bag. Meaning, listen, the feminism is trickling over over here. I got to fight the war against feminism. How many excuses you going to come up with because you can't get no women? How many excuses you going to come up with because you are missing the mark? When it comes to acquiring some lady who actually treats you with any respect, who cooks for you, cleans for you, does the things that a real woman would do for a dignified gentleman. How many excuses you gonna make? Now you going over Brazil saying, yo, feminism got a foot in the bag. I need y'all to go ahead and send me more donations because, man, we fighting feminism over here. Y'all gonna fight it everywhere. Here's a news flash. Women are the same everywhere all over the world. Yeah, I said it. The Western world will take over. Listen, any woman can drink the wine of Babylon. Don't matter where she located. There's some women in the bush right now. There's some women in the bush right now in Africa with a modern woman mentality. That's what they're not telling you. Yeah, you can see them online too. Showing off their bodies everywhere. They acting just like the women over here in the States. That's a fact. They're everywhere. They act the same everywhere. So, you're going to have... I'm going to stop it right here. But it's another channel that... That was, that was him. And I'm going to give my training after these couple of these videos.
Brinko TV reactions. Let's go. So, what exactly is going on? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Welcome to the stream, Brinko TV reactions. We're back again with another one. How are everybody doing out there? Well, let's get down to business one time. We don't have no time to waste. Uh, breaking news story. Yeah, that's right. Breaking news. Uh, of the Passport Bros leader. Yes, that's right. The Passport Bros leader. Um, they're celebrating now in Brazil. Um, it is what it is. They're celebrating because the Passport Bros leader uh, pretty much is on the run from Brazil. Yeah. You know, I told y'all a long time ago that these guys, man, these guys are just out of order. <laughs> I told y'all already. Well, word on the street is that the Passport Bros leader got exposed by a Brazilian woman. Yeah, that's right. Um, This is crazy, man. This is like breaking news story. I mean, you wouldn't believe it, fam. Like, they are celebrating in Brazil right now, believe it or not. Like, just check it out, man. Passport Bros leader, that's right, is on the run. <laughs> they ran him up on out of Brazil, man. This is crazy, bro. In case you're joining in and you don't know what a Passport Bro is, in these social media streets, man. All you gotta do is just type it in on YouTube, type it in Google, and you'll find it. The Passport Bros is a group of guys that, you know, they they basically have a problem with women in America. So what they do is they have formed an organization of men that travel to other countries to just become intimate with women. That's pretty much all they're into. Right. So, this has been going on for a minute, but for some odd reason, one particular woman in Brazil got tired of this, and she stood her ground, word on the street, she turned against the passport bros, and exposed their hidden agenda, and now, word on the street is that the passport bro leader has fled from Brazil. <laughs> They ran him up on out of there, fam. You ain't gonna believe this, man. For whatever reason, this woman that is Brazilian has a social media platform with a large following, and she reported him to the authorities on all sorts of different allegations, man. We gotta read these allegations, bro. We gotta check this out again. You already done know when you come into the building, we bring you the content that you need to see raw news uncut so i want to go into the details i'm only here to report the news that's all it is they're celebrating in brazil right now because they got them up on out of it so here we go ladies and gentlemen here we go i don't read portuguese but this particular post was post on an instagram account if you want to find this all you gotta do is just Search it out, and you'll find what you need to find, right? Um, this is pretty much it. It says that there's a YouTuber, Americano, or whatever. Um, you know, I don't know what's going on, but uh, I see something there that says sexual. So it seems like turismo, so that's torizen. So if you look at sexual and turismo, that would equal sex tourism. Can I get a witness? So, hey, there's a Brazilian woman that exposed the passport bros. That's right. Um, and also, let me make this also clear. If I see anybody post any names of any passport bros in the chat, I'm going to block you automatically. So if you get blocked, do not send me a DM saying, yo, I didn't know. If you post anybody's name, giving them free promotion in my chat, I'm going to block you ASAP, right? 
So let me just put this in the chat. Um, let me write this and make it a pin. Because if I see any names, I'm just going to block you. Right? So don't post anyone's names. Names in the chat. Or you will be blocked. Right? Don't post anyone's any don't post any passport bros names in the chat or you're going to be blocked automatically that's just how I do business so if you come in later in the stream and you post a name I'm just blocking you I don't care if you didn't hear or you didn't see it's your responsibility to start the stream, read the chat, and know the ground rules. So, final warning. If you're viewing the stream, and you post any Passport Bros name in my chat to give them free promotion, I'm blocking you. If you come in later in the stream, and you just don't know, and you post a name, I'm blocking you. Because there is a clear, a clear comment at the top pin explain to do not do that right okay now a woman in brazil appeared to have had enough with the passport bros movement they got tired of these men um traveling abroad just to fulfill their lust and she took it to social media and she put her foot down man i'm telling you the same women that these passport bros have been boasting about saying how much they're better than American women and how these women are exotic and they treat us brothers like kings. The same women that these brothers been promoting for months and months and months have come forward to expose the passport bros. <laughs> They came forward to expose them, man. So now, check this out, y'all. This gets really interesting, right? So now, again, on her post, she posts this. It's in Portuguese. I know you don't understand it, because I don't understand it. But what I did is I went and I got it translated so that we can all gain an understanding, hopefully, of what she's saying. But, yo, she has a following of, I think, a hundred and something thousand followers on Instagram. Her post got over almost 6,000 likes, and the people are going crazy. Listen, this thing is so serious that they got they got the so-called Passport Pro leader on his channel apologizing. <laughs> I kid you not, fam. They got dude. They got dude scared, bro. They got that man apologizing in Portuguese and English. <laughs> Yo, I don't know what's going on, man. Somebody sent me a clip. I'm like, what's going on in these streets, man? They're like, hey, man, they got this guy speaking Portuguese and English. So I go check. Dude got a video apologizing. Here we go. First person to get banned. Here we go. Blocked. Goodbye. No more on the channel again. Bye-bye. You see what I mean? I'm trying to tell these people, but they keep coming over here doing the same thing. Next person that posts somebody's name in my chat, I'm blocking you. Straight up and down. Ain't no free promotion here. You got to pay to do that. <laughs> Ain't nobody getting no free promotion here. So now, anybody else that come into the chat, you better read that pinned message at the top. Or you're just getting blocked automatically. Automatically. I don't care. Don't tell me nothing. Don't send me no messages on Instagram saying... Yo, I didn't understand. I don't know what's going on. I'm blocking you straight up and down. So now, the Passport Bros leader has been kicked out of Brazil, right? Uh, basically, they have been threatening him. Uh, you know, they realize what he's on, and they, they, they came forward to the public. Now... To all the sisters in America, to all the black women in America, 
This is a time to rejoice. This is a time to rejoice. This is a time to rejoice because finally there is justice. Because the passport bros have been using you sisters as a crutch to say that you're no good and how they're going overseas because the women in America are no good. Okay, now the, the chickens or the gooses or whatever you call it have come home to roost. Right? So now this Brazilian woman has exposed the passport bro leader to the public. Let's find out what, we, what she said. Let me get the translation. Uh-oh, here we go, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. Now, again, to anybody that's looking at the stream, you better look at that pinned comment in the chat. If you post anybody's name in my chat given free promotion, I'm blocking you. Straight up and down. I don't care if you're a mod. I don't care if you're a member. I don't care if you donated $100. I am blocking you, right? I don't care. Follow the rules and pay attention to the host of the stream. Now, it goes on. This is what the Brazilian woman posts on social media. She says, I took the videos and prints from here because I don't want to see this person on my networks or the violent messages of his actions. Now, I don't know what messages he must have had up. I don't understand. But this is what this woman is saying. Um, she says she don't want this person on her networks or the violent messages of his actions. And in one, and in one of those videos, the faces of some of the girls filmed by him appeared. Now, I don't know what kind of girls. I don't know if they were underage. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, this is crazy. This is breaking news. A Brazilian woman is saying the faces of some of the girls filmed by him appeared. Uh, but now all the material has been forwarded to the competent authorities. So she sent this to the authorities. Oh, man, yo, this is crazy, bro. Um, let me see. Hunter says, Ringo, they will say there is a typo, so they did not know not to post. It doesn't matter if anybody posts anybody's names in my chat. I'm just going to block them. I don't care who it is. I don't care who the person is. If they can't read the pin message that is in blue, they're just getting blocked. I could care less about anybody that comes in. Here go another person. Let's get this person up on out of here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's how we doing it. I don't care anymore. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about them people. They're just dumb and they can't read. Simple as that. So let's get back to the point of the message. The woman came in and she said uh, that the material has been forwarded to the authorities and the girls who were unfortunately filmed. Oh, man. So there were some girls. I don't know if they were underage or whatever the case is. They, they may have been uh, filmed unaware or whatever the case is uh, and placed in a questionable way on his channel. Wow. So, see, I didn't see whatever she's saying. And based on what's going on, it appears as if though the Passport Bros leader has deleted the evidence of whatever the video was. Based on what I'm getting on the news desk, Word on the street, based on the reports coming in, based on my sources, they're saying that he deleted said video. That's what I'm getting. I'm hearing that he deleted said video out of fear of the Brazilian people. So there must have been some video that he had showing young girls. I don't know their ages. I don't know what's going on. But it says that for whatever reason, uh, these girls were placed in questionable positions. I don't know what that means. Let me get this other person out of here. Bye-bye. 
locked. <laughs> right? These are crazy people, bro. Like, seriously. It's like they all want attention. They all want attention so bad. Um, so now, it says that these girls were placed in some sort of positions or whatever the case is. Anybody coming here mentioning names, you're getting blocked. How damn stupid are you? <laughs> like, serious. Like, how dumb are these people? Like, people are dumb? Or do you just want to promote your favorite YouTuber? I'm going to stop right here. But another guy can try to warn him. You go to... Brazilian singers, your your uh, Bahia News, Mundo Negro, the BET of fucking Brazil, you on the front page, and y'all telling me I'm I'm hating and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. Y'all need to pay attention. And I'm I'm getting in front of this to let you guys know that I do not stand for it and I'm not co-signing. I'm just not. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we all got to take the hit, but we're going to work through it together. Um, like I said, I believe Austin can recover from this, but he's going to he's gonna have to humble himself, get back to the drawing board, get more creative. If you're going to have women in your videos and, there's gonna, and, it, and you fear there may be some controversy, you may want to, you may want to, Coach her first, talk to her first, interview her first, pay her first, do something to make sure you have she has some type of stake in the game. <laughs> so yeah, I would say Austin is not I'm not ousting Austin. I have his phone number. I've talked, like I, like I said at the beginning of it, we had a good conversation over the phone. I told him this was coming. This is not a surprise. This is not me making it. I told him, I'm like, listen, dude, do you understand how you fucked up? Because I'll be honest with you. I, I, was, I was not very happy when I heard this news. I had to, I had to call uh, Zoom to Tyler. And I had to sit on this for a couple, for a day or two, uh, to kind of work through it a little bit. Okay, I had to sit through a couple days to kind of work through it. Me and Zoom and Thailand talked on the phone for two hours. Went through it. Hey, how do how do how? Because he's probably the only passport guy that I actually talked to on the phone. And we kind of like okay. You talk to him, I talk to him, you know what I'm saying? Like, we'll, we'll see what we can do, but yeah, I got to get in front of this. Exactly, Mo, it is, it's very constructive criticism. We can't go, we, we cannot go to a country and piss off a large group. Some of the veterans who actually... 
actually are moving and shaking, not the halfway brothers. And we can we can work through this. Okay. So I'll, listen, I'm not gonna beat I'm not gonna beat this I'm not gonna beat this over the head. Uh, and I commend Austin. Uh, he took my criticism like a chief. You know what I'm saying? I was I'm, I was harsh with him, just like I was harsh here. But this has to be aired out. Okay. Um, but anyway, listen, I'm about to get back on this Nintendo Switch. You okay? I'm about to get on it. I'm about to get on this Nintendo Switch. Um, hopefully, we hear from Austin in a couple of days. Like I said, he he's gonna he's gonna turn things around. And uh, shout out to XL Pro with the with the with the little something something in here. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep this moving. And I'm gonna tell you, we'll be fine in a couple of months. But we had we had to get this out. Okay, I couldn't sleep. All right, so uh, let me. I'm, I'm gonna holler at y'all later. Okay. In. Now, this, I'm going to chime in before I uh, finish out the video. Um, you, you know, I support the guys traveling, but I don't support the guys, you know, support a guy to go over there and use women for their bodies. Um, and what he did, that was pretty, pretty low. And I guess I'm, I'm for traveling, but most of the guys I heard that travel like, Skyler and different individuals, they go for business. Taylor Maid and Andre, they go for business. They're not over there. And there's and plenty of other people, like he said, Zoom, they over there for business and, and being productive in the land. Um, but yeah, um, that, 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 that is something really, you know, you're traveling as a single man. This to the men, you need to think about. But I'm gonna come from from a different aspect too. You know, places like Brazil and Domin and Dominican and those certain places like that. I'm gonna tell you from a spiritual aspect. You have to be careful what kind of woman you get with. Not only that, you might get set up, but you might get something put on you. Because the part of Brazil where he was at was a lot of witchcraft down there. Voodoo. I don't know if I just understand that. And sometimes, and I, I had, I made a video about this. In some countries, some women use voodoo uh, when, it, when when some guy pissed pissed them off. They use it as a weapon. And Brazil was big on that down there. And the part of Brazil he was at was big. So, my suggestion is, is coming from that aspect of it. Nobody didn't mention about that part. You have to, you do have to be aware, and you have to be wise. It's good to go to another country, but you got to know the whole, whole thing about about the culture. And that's part of the culture. That's one of the things about, and they can use it for the good. And if you pissed off the wrong black woman down there, and she's part of that, that that religious Catholicism. And a witch or something could be a daughter of a witch. See, see, uh, Austin didn't think about that, and a lot of some of these other passport bros don't think about that. I'm just saying, I don't want me to want to rain on your damper, but I'm coming from a spiritual aspect of it, because you don't know you might come, somebody could put something in your food or something like that down there. You pissed off the wrong woman. So we have to also be, and who's gonna know? Especially if you didn't make, did what he did, and who's going to tell? Because you didn't make half the women down there mad, some of the people down there mad. So he can't go back to that country for a while. And I like what, what he said in the beginning of his video. When you go to another part of the world, you can't treat like, like you, everything is not like America. You have to respect their land. You have to, And that's what Skyler was saying in the beginning of his video. I just caught the end of it. But you gotta respect the respect the people in the video. No matter 
and he made it, it made it the way he made it seems simple. And I can understand the, that woman getting mad because like you insulting the women down there, like and somebody would insult the women here in our country. And they say, you know, you know, American women is easy. Da 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 da. da. I said, to how would that sound to you? And they and they put it trans, and someone got word of it. And I, you know, how how would that respond? And there was some guys that didn't like it. Said, oh, it's a it's a feminist thing. No, it's a respect thing. You got the respect of the people's culture. You got, you know, I mean, I understand sometimes. Um, but if you're going down to do, do, do that to women, that's wrong. If I was going overseas, down to Brazil, I be, I should be looking for a wife. And and this and this is wisdom. Why, or looking for a potential person to be a significant other? Because you don't know what's in their background. Just like you, a woman here, you don't know what's in their background. And you don't know the whole character. See, some people can appear to look beautiful to you. But the devil can can, can bring his present something better. Bring you something. And you might it may look good until you find out later on it wasn't good for you. And and some and then there was like some men, you meet up with the wrong woman, like in certain like there was one part of Medellin, Colombia, and where they, you meet the wrong woman on on an app, you and they could they could set you up and put something in your drink, and t probably there's some men that lost their lives overseas. You gotta be, you gotta be. These some of these guys have to think like that, and some people don't like to paint that bad news. It's nothing wrong with going overseas, but it's good to have a. But there's other people tell you it's a good have a good network of people that know know the people and know the people you, you coerce with because you just going down there blinded and not knowing nobody that that's the truth you don't know anything of the language that well you and you got to perfect that language and have some type of discernment down there and and even in the language you have to understand the discernment of what is about to go down because if you don't if you know a little bit of the language in in some place like Brazil or Colombia or Dominican Republic that's just you know you don't you better pray that someone is a good person to, to love you enough to tell you hey don't do this so that's just wisdom and I ain't trying to make but there's some people that do that I had I knew somebody I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you a story I was away in school one time right this and it was this white guy he dated this Jamaican woman and he did he did her kind of wrong. And I don't know what she said that she's gonna do to him. Put something on him. That dude left he left town, he left the school. I'm telling you. She was from Jamaica. And some of the women down in the Caribbean islands, I'm telling you, they got people in their background that so oh he hurt you? Well he, you know, he did this to you and mix up some kind of concoction next time you meet them. They get a piece of your clothing and have you, and you don't know. And they work, they work that kind of stuff down there. So, I'm just saying, you know, just be careful on who you get with down there. Make sure they have a, they have a good character. And really, it's good to meet a woman down there who, who belongs to Christ. Literally, I'm serious. You, I mean, you talk, you, you talk. There's a whole energy the whole different part of the world down there in three years and and a lot of men don't think about that a lot of these men don't don't think about the spiritual aspect they use they use witchcraft as a weapon down there that can possess possess the men like they do in other parts of the world so you have to really be careful what kind of woman you get with just take note of that and this has happened. Some strange things have happened. And depending on public, because um, I don't have a car here. I don't want a car. And I walk every freaking day, all the time. I drink a lot of wrong message, man. So, like I said, but the brother is 23 years old. And, um, hell, I wish I was, I was that smart at 23. I wasn't, I'm going to tell you. 
Cheeto off uh, of um, <laughs> Twitter and then gave it back to him. So I think he'll be able to get another account. So, you know, like I said, man, it's just it's just laying low for a second, let the smoke blow over, and then go from there. All right, so uh, a lot of guys want to visit Brazil after this, to stop in Brazil. I doubt it. Seriously doubt it, because I'm, I'm even going back to Brazil. I'm going back to Brazil. I don't think it's going to stop it. Um, I think cats who are doing um, social media in Brazil are going to um, step a little softer. They're going to try to stay off of that, you know, um, posting negative thing um, about the women on be um, smart. social media. Um, but stopping the flow, man, you can't stop that, bro. Brazil is just one of those places that calls you. I ain't gonna lie to you. If you've ever been there, and me, man, listen, that was the last woman I loved was, was, was in Brazil. Catalina. Last woman I loved. I loved it. Still love that one. Like I said, I had to take her back today. I can find it. What up, Dr. TV? What's happening, sir? Dr. R. TV. All right. All right, keeping it buck. It did move. That was. All right, so keeping it keeping it a buck. He did a move that was focused. My perception is he ins ins it. I don't know. What's that word, bro? That, that ticked me off because it paints all over that light and we're already trying to blend other cultures. Well, first of all, um, I don't think we need to blend into anybody's culture, right? And I did a video on that uh, a few weeks ago. We don't need to blend and fit in. No other culture, right? You go, Chinese ain't trying to fit in here in Thailand. The Indians ain't trying to fit in. Germans ain't trying to fit in. Nobody's trying to fit in. Why do we have to fit in anyway? We don't. Be you. Be authentically you. Um, like I said, I don't think what the brother did was shitty. I mean, the brother did a TikTok. He worded it wrong. I've done it. You've done it. But it happened to be heard by someone who had some influence in Brazil. She was a, a, an influencer in social media. And, you know, hey, I'm going to hit the clout chaser. She clout chased in a negative way. You know, if she wanted to, she could have reached out to the brother and said, hey, let's let's do an interview. Tell me what you really mean. You know, that's it. Believe me, if, you, if you're in social media space, you know somebody who knows somebody who knows the person you're trying to reach. Period. You do. I, I'm, you know, that... That expression, when that, when that book that came out six degrees away from me knowing everybody, it's the truth. It's the truth because of my level of influence, because of the people that I know now. I know people who know very influential people because I know them. You know, you know, most of the uh, major, you know, YouTube people, social media piece, people, if I don't know them personally, I know somebody who knows them. If I need to reach out to them, I can get a message to them and we can come together to do something. It's, it's just like that. Um, and that's why me, I open up my platform at least once a week. I know I'm on my Monday shows. Listen, if you want if you want, if you want to say something to um, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent um, about something I said, I invite you to the platform. You know, come on, we can talk about it. I'll come on your platform. We can talk about it. Um, but some people, man, the sensationalist that I uh, want to send um, sensationalized things because it gets them more views, it gets them a little bit more clout, especially if they already a big influence, it gets them that, that, that more space to breathe or like, I got them out of here I'm going to tell you man, she was a solution looking for a problem and awesome happiness with the bill Man, I'm gonna stop it right here, and uh, um, that's Taylor Made Dreams. This is his channel. Um, yeah, just gotta use some wisdom. Basically, 
But, you know, when you're traveling, I believe just you have to use wisdom. And I think people who never travel, you know, I never really travel out other than been to Canada. You know, that's the only thing I've been to. But I think by starting here, getting to know people's culture, cultures here. So when you get to talk with people here, and then give you ins and out. If you meet somebody from Brazil or one of those other countries, uh, if you happen to come across somebody or meet them on the, on the platform and you become friends with them, that's something, or go to, go to their school or church or any outing with them, get some kind of insight of what it's like to be around that culture. I mean, you know somebody from Colombia, Venezuela, or Ecuador, one of them places, maybe make friends with them and learn and be around people because you'll learn something about their culture. So when the time you go over to their part of the, their, their, their country, you will have that respect down. You know, that's one thing. You know, I've been at a couple round people. God has blessed me to, to go to a Latino church. And what I learned from there was about being around mostly Latino, the Latin culture, you know, from different parts of Latin America. And so the best thing I would do is that I have an understanding by being around them and how the way they move and how the th things go. So if I ever was supposed to go down to, to one of the countries in Latin America, I have a good idea on how the way they move. I mean, I know certain little things in Spanish, but I think that's a good touch up. I think you, so when you get, if you ever go to another, this would be my advice. And of course, study the language too and, and learn and, and learn how to and be around people. So when you go over into that, go down to Puerto Rico or Mexico or Dominican or one of the Spanish speaking countries, or if it's Portuguese, like Brazil, you already have it down. But to get to know and get the understanding and respect of other cultures. Learn the do's and don'ts. And I think that's something that we, anybody, any person leave this country and go down to another place anywhere in the world, whether it's in the Philippines, Thailand, or Europe, or Africa, because right now, if, like, there's a time I was going to an African church, I'm just kind of, but you know, you get around people from different parts of Africa, and then you have an idea. So when you go over to Africa, some, some of the food, the customs, the atmosphere, the, the way they conduct themselves, it won't surprise you. You won't have a culture shock. So I think one thing about Americans, we got that advantage of people that come from the different places that come over here. So when they come over here, and, and you had to get a passport or get some funds up to go to and from over there, at least you have an idea. Because you have some people that I, I don't think they never really been around other cultures, so when they go over there, they carry that American mindset with them. And when you have to really get to know the people here and, and, and respect the people here so you can respect the people over there. And just like any other people, don't go down there and look... And really, like I was saying, really, it's, it's good to settle down. I mean, because for one thing, laying up with these different women, you don't know what you're going to get. You know, you got different viruses running around on the planet. That's one thing. Two, do you want to have soul ties with the prostitute? Three, you don't know spiritually where they at spiritually, like I said, their background. Their background could be a witch. And if you do something to piss her off, she could put something on you. This is, this is in places down in the Southern Caribbean places and in Brazil. And, and, and Oh yeah, they practice that stuff. So you got to know their background, their spiritual background. And this is something that I don't think some passport brothers don't understand that. Some probably do, but some need to understand it. This is just, this is just some wisdom wisdom. I'm just telling you my point point of view too because a lot of men address the other things but I hope that she don't have a background of a witch. Does she do? Austin Austin 
on the spiritual side can be conspiracy getting attacked. Unseen accidents, accidents around his family. I'm just saying this is how they 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 you come you, they know how to move in that atmosphere. And that I'm just I'm bringing from my perspective of of it. Also, that's another reason why it's good to go, but know the people they know their background completely who you get dealing with and definitely know the language and definitely know the territory really well because in them in them areas there's, there's demonic strongholds down there too so that's just my that's my intake on it I, I come from a different angle from it which which the guys who travel most of them don't talk about this but it's something don't go over there and the women move can move in that kind of way they got relatives that move in that kind of that's just something to think about so uh, yeah I just wanted to point this out so I hope that Austin will learn a big lesson from this and other men don't don't go over there get this mindset find you somebody to sell down with what I just mentioned earlier is the reason why you don't know what's in their background. So it's good to know the one person. Stop jumping from woman to woman. That's one reason. I mean, the other two gentlemen had the other reason. I'm telling you, you don't know. So my name is James. So this is my input on the traveling pros and Austin Holler situation. And I. Uh, you know, but it, it wasn't good what he did. You know, you have to respect people's culture. Learn, and like, I like what the one brother said, what Skyler said, you have to respect the culture. You can't go over there thinking it'd be easy because they, they, and that's, the, that's the myth that we have over, oh, they speak a different language. Just because they speak a different language, it don't mean that they're dumb. And that's a, that's a myth that some of us Americans got. No, they just don't. They but they're aware. But that's just translation. But they're smart. Them Brazilians are smart. They 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 they, they, they smart. They move a different certain type of way. Probably similar to us. So don't let them don't let that fool you. And I'm just give give and like these other people. No matter they're Colombians, no matter they're Dominicans, no matter. Whoever, Philippines, they know. Everybody be thinking, oh, they poor, you know, and you can come over there with this superiority attitude. They they know how to move in ways. They got other ways of moving. You know you know just to think about that. Just think just think. I'm just I'm just coming from an angle from this because none of these other gentlemen are not addressing this. So if you meet a guys, if you meet a woman over there, meet 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 a girlfriend that's gonna be your wife. Don't be jumping from woman to woman over there. That's the reason why. So I hope take 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 this for a grain of salt. I'm not talking down. Travel, enjoy yourself, but be careful. Travel. Your travels. So my name is James. Next time, you guys, take it easy. Be blessed and take care.